Hardy Har Har. Today's name of the game is Pirates, my friends. Today we're covering Is It Pirates here, a 55% win rate list in standard best of one. I'm very excited about this tribal list, so thank you for tuning in today, as always. Now, if you got a question or comment throughout, let me know because I'd love to hear from you as we break down the strategy objective of this list. We'll also go play that standard competitive magic as we always do and pull it all back together for you in the end. With that, let's dive into it or fly into it depending on how we're going to go about it or across the sea in terms of these pirates all right so here's what we got going on we're taking on a ton of stuff here from ixalan in order to build this deck and on top of that leveraging a lot of other really really nice things um, from the previous sets in order to make this list very very successful regardless now a couple things that i like about this one in particular is we do have a couple one-offs here at the top end with witch stalker the belligerent here and roaming throne and roaming throne's a great card by the way um, works really really nicely however a lot of the core pieces here come from these fast pirates pirates that do stuff early on and then additionally captain storm this thing does continue to get bigger which is great um, or a target pirate put a plus one plus one on counter target pirate you control same thing um, only running two along with malcolm alluring scoundrel same thing there um, so the core set is really around these three to four plus these two and then obviously kite sail and breaches eager pillager so this guy here has got first strike um, when a pirate you control attacks choose one that hasn't been chosen so you got treasure target creature can't block and then exile the top card you may play this turn um, again giving you card advantage that's why this thing is awesome kite sail is a really really good card it's using the tempo ones you can lock down uh one of your opponent's uh, creatures a lot of times or choose up to other target artifact um, and for as long as this thing's in play it just becomes an artifact that essentially gives them a mana pump ability could be a problem but generally pays off very very well um, in terms of those things and then on the lower end we're taking advantage of spyglass siren um, again with the uh, map token here goblin tomb raider here as long as you control an artifact this thing gets plus one uh, plus zero in haste so really a nice uh, two two um, we got Kumano, Voltage Surge, um, Malcolm, like I said, this thing deals damage to, com uh, damage to a player, put a course counter on it, draw a card, and then discard a card if there are four more. Um, you may cast the discarded card without paying for its mana cost, which is really nice. Um, Staunch Crewmate here, when this thing enters, um, you look at the top four of your library, you may re reveal an artifact or a pirate card and put it in your hand. Um, and then additionally here, we talked about this one, but this one's a huge, huge card. Again, this one's played uh subterranean schooner in uh the uh, uh azorus discard we also have it in tempo list uh, very very powerful and then obviously this is its pirate one is it is it pirates um very very powerful list and then the belligerent here at the top end um, whenever attacks you may create a treasure token it is very large five five until on turn you may look at the top card of any uh, of your library anytime and you may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library which is nice um, and then here roaming throne giving you a double trigger and making it uh, pirates which is really really nice as well so um, looking forward to running this here today again good support here with caverns of souls plenty of mana base uh, to make it happen as well so let's go ahead and get into it again if you got a question if you got a comment let me know this thing is really going to be aggressive so really an aggro-esque list kind of pivot to mid-range a little bit but again these aren't big mid-range guys um, really really in here you want to keep that pressure on keep dealing that damage keep attacking push through that schooner is going to the subterranean um, is a very very big card it's going to make your guys bigger um, so take advantage of that now uh, we recently ran the Slesian list you can check that one out we got all kinds of great lists um, here on the channel for you plus meta things that you can see as well And we are off to the races here, or should we say rowing down the stream, gently, merrily, merrily, as we like to say. All right, here we go. Um, we can keep this. Uh, it's a little slow. I do like Kumano in there. I like having the voltage. I may keep it not as fast as I would like. Um, this could end up being a problem. Um, we could do this. We could leave that one and play this first. And again, only an artifact. We don't have that out of the gate. We may sacrifice an artifact on this to deal four damage instead. Now, 
obviously this is a domain list at this point. So we need to be cognizant of that. We may want to use that on that. We'll have to see. Let's throw this one down for now. Are we going to be able to make use of this? We don't have that artifact. Now this thing will be nice. Again, artifact or creature. I have to kind of hold it up though. We do have roaming throne, which can help us. Little slow out of the gate, unfortunately, right now. There's our dinosaur. Don't need to hit it with that. We can play our Kite Sail. If they take the Kite Sail off, though, they're going to get another land. It's the risk we take, though. Might as well. Oh, another creature. There we go. Now, that can boost your stuff if you need it. Certainly going to really, really help our opponent there. Create a big, big problem for us. Pirate. Now, if we would have had that down, Kite Sail, you could hit it twice. Now they can lock this thing down. Or just nuke it. Now the good news here is we can get rid of that if we need to. Another stomper. Oh, painful. It is painful here. Out of the gate. That's okay. There's our two. Let's take that one off. And we'll also do it on this one. Omit one. And we'll take no damage. And we'll grab another land, my friends. How nice. How nice. How nice. Oh, herd migration. That is going to crush us. That will crush us. We'll see what we get on the next one. We don't have anything to recover from. We do have a Kumano. That's going to be a good game. All right, we'll let them swing in and do their thing, my friends. Unfortunate. I don't think... If we did have all the speed, they had all the right stuff on their end at that 5 drop. Unfortunately, they stay in front of us, stay ahead. However, never give up, never surrender. Let's go to our second match here with Izzet Pirates. Alright, we're in it to win it today. Let's go. Come on, Pirates. We're rooting on you. Everyone here watching. Let's do it. Come on. What are we going to hit next? Hopefully not another domain. We got Gatsu. This looks like a domain list. Could be a domain player. We go first. We will keep this. We will keep this. I'll start with that. Ooh. We need a land. Alright, we live there. Ooh, I like it. Well done, well done, my friends.
Self mill. Oh man. Salt eye self mill. Ah. Look at that. They're gonna get something back here real fast. Phyrexia. There you go. Look at this. It's coming back. Target permanent. Less than or equal the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. That's going to hurt. We need to exile here. We'll do this one. Uh, let's do this. Let's go there. Now again, when this thing dies... be in trouble. Love it though. So much fun. Malcolm is in trouble. Oop, they didn't cast it. There it is, there it is. Oh, so painful. We can hit artifact with this though. But unfortunately we didn't draw a land. If we would have, we actually would have been in a very, very, very good spot. Except they can also exile target instant sorcery card and do it again. Um, unfortunately, we did not hit. Which means, yes, our friend Atroxa is coming back. Very nice. I literally needed one mana there, and we could have shut this thing down. Let's see what they exile, though. They could have played that again, though. This is nine. They would have been able to play Atroxa. So they still could have got that on the board. We have two Larcenists, though. And now they have everything that they need in their hand to go ahead and ultimately destroy us today. It is a rather fun, cool list. There they play it. For eight. And they do have Jace. They also have that. Go. I'll take note of all your failures. Now we still have a chance, believe it or not. Um, what we need to do is they don't have any of those big creatures in there. They we certainly do. Oh, now we got a Troxa back again. We have to take Portal off first. If we get lucky enough. Oh, shoot. That is going to be a good game, my friends. We cannot come back on the two mana. We actually had a chance. If we would have hit three, that's just really, really bad luck here um, today to start. And as we say here on the channel, that, my friends, is magic because you cannot win a hundred percent of the time all the time if you have prove it and show me because i don't believe you all right here we go third and final one here pretty unique cool salty self mill list there pretty fun
All right, soul it is. All right, we can play this. Not having red hurts because we can't play either of these. Ah, now we got it though. Um, question is, do we do that? Let's go. Maybe we can go pirates. I do want to get that on. Probably gonna go over the top right away. To be honest. Ooh, enchantment list. So that helps. So we'll do two things here. And I do want to do this here. We'll keep that one. Now, again, first strike. Whenever you, you know, whenever a pirate you control attacks. Again, we get to choose. Exile the top, create a treasure token. We'll do that first this time. No point in blocking on that. Now, we're going to wait. Because we need to see if they stack some stuff here. There's the ossification. That's what I was worried about. We can play the schooner here, too. So we have a second one if we need it. Which is helpful. Go pirate. Um, we got five, so we can do two. I think this is probably the right play here. Let's go submit zero. Grab that one. And we got this guy. We already have this guy who's a legendary. We'll grab the Siren. We'll see if they trade. All right. Which is too bad again. They're gonna get their guy in. And he's back. And he's back. Just bad luck. Just bad luck there for us. That's okay. We'll take it. We will take it. Now yeah, you would say it's nice, wouldn't you? Let's see if you do that. Now you still gotta get three by us. We're going to keep everything back. What do you got here, my friend? Another ossification for you. That is real good. Not much we're going to be able to do about that. Let's see what you take. Not going to make too much of a difference here. Because we don't have a choice. We have When we block this, it's already 3 through anyway. So it really doesn't matter. Unfortunate. It has been a while, though, since we've gone 0 and 3. We're going to take it and be okay with it, because that's how it goes. A little bummed that the list... No, we did not have a fun match. Never. When we lose. Ever. Just kidding. Um, we did go 0 and 3. It's been a first and a long time since we've done that. Was hoping that the Pirates list would perform a little bit better for us, um, even at that 55% win rate. So we should have at least won one match. 
did not go our way here today, unfortunately. Um, that one, we definitely needed the voltage sur surges. If we would have had those, we probably would have been just fine. We did have other things to recover there. Um, using the kite sail in that situation, um, I don't think if we would have removed the Jukai guy there or the life gainer, that really would have changed too much. They still would have got this guy off the board. It would have just taken one more turn. Um, unfortunately, we still did not get enough of what we needed in order to overcome. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed the Is It Pirates list. Again, this is a big tribal list here from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Um, had a lot of fun losing, nonetheless, I guess, here today. Um, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Again, if you got a question, if you got a comment throughout, let me know. I'd love to hear from you, as always. Um, with that, on top of that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your support. I appreciate the likes and the subs as we grow this community here. Um, on top of that, thank you to all the members. As always, we got memberships available to you. You can check those out and other great ways to support the channel through affiliate links and other things there as well. Um, lastly, may your pirates run and is it is it better than mine um, for you. With that, we got a ton of great Magic the Gathering content here on the channel. More coming all the time. We'll see you again soon. Take care.